Let's look at the lesson. Convert numbers with tens, hundreds, thousands. It says balance the equation below. We're given the equation nine hundreds is equal to how many tens? When they tell us to balance the equation, they want both sides of the equation to be the same. So we know we have nine hundreds on this side. I will draw nine hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I know that each hundred has ten tens because ten tens is equal to one hundred. Let's count by tens ten times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10 tens is equal to 100. We have nine hundreds, so let's see how many tens that is. I know in 100 we have 10 tens, 200s we have 20 tens, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So 90 tens is equal to 900. Great. Next, they say which equation is correct? Two hundreds is equal to 22 tens? Hmm. Well, I know that 20 tens is 200. And then two more tens would be an additional 20. So this would equal 220. So it is not correct to say that 200 is equal to 220. No, that's not correct. Let's try this one. Two hundreds is equal to 200 tens. Ah, I know there are 10 tens in 100. So that means there would be 20 tens in 200. So no, 200 tens is not correct. That is much too much. Here we have 200s is equal to 12 tens. Well, I know that 10 tens is 100 plus two more tens is 20. So this would be equal to 120, so this is not it. Here we have 200s is equal to 20 tens. Ah, I know that 20 tens is 200. So it is true that 200s is equal to 20 tens. Which equation is correct? 300s is equal to 300 tens? Hmm, so I know that 30 tens is 300. So 300 tens would be 3,000. That is too much. 300 is not equal to 3,000. Here we have 300 is equal to 30 tens. Well, like we said over here, 30 tens is 300. So it would make sense that 300s is equal to 30 tens, which is also 300. So this looks like the correct answer. Let's keep going to double check our other answers. 300s is equal to 33 tens. Mm, I know 30 tens is 300 and three more tens would be 330. So that is not correct. Here we have 300 is equal to 13 tens. Well, I know 10 tens is 100, and three tens is 30. So this would be equal to 130. So this one is not correct. All right, 300 is equal to 30 tens. Which equation is correct? 300s is equal to 33 tens. Do you remember how much 33 tens is? Yes, 330. When I see a certain number of tens, like in this case 33 tens, I know that I can just add a zero to the end. So here we have 300 is equal to 13 tens. If I have 13 tens, I can just add a zero and that'll be equal to 130. So neither of these are correct. Here we have 300s is equal to 30 tens. Well, if I have 30 tens, I have 30 and then I add my extra zero. Ah, 300 is equal to 30 tens. Yes, this one's correct. Let's check this one. 300 
is equal to, we have 300 tens. So we write our 300, then we add our zero. Whoa, no, 300 is not equal to 3,000. So it is 3 hundreds is equal to 30 tens. Which equation is correct? We have four hundreds is equal to 44 tens. Let's see, 44, and then we add our zero for our tens. Nope, that is not correct. Now here we have four hundreds is equal to 14 tens. Add our zero. Nope, that one's not correct either. Here we have four hundreds is equal to 40 tens. Let's see. Ah, yes, four hundreds is equal to 400. All right, let's try this one. Four hundreds is equal to 400 tens. Well, if we had 400 tens, we would have 4,000. That is not correct. So four hundreds is equal to 40 tens. Here we have seven hundreds is equal to how many tens? Well, remember each hundred is 10 tens. So if we have seven hundreds, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so if we had 100, it'd be 10 tens. 200 would be 20 tens. We have 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So 70 tens. Let's check our work. So if we have 70 tens, remember how we said we could add our extra zero? Yes, seven hundreds is equal to 700. Great, so 70 tens. Here we have two hundreds is equal to how many tens? So if we count by tens, because we know there's 10 tens in each hundred, two hundreds would be 10, 20, 20 tens. Nine hundreds is equal to how many tens? I could draw out nine hundreds, or I could count by 10 nine times. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 90 tens. Which equation is correct? Four hundreds is equal to 44 tens. Let's see, 44 tens would be 440. That's not correct. Four hundreds is equal to 40 tens. 40 tens would be 400. Ah, yes, that is correct. Whoops, funny check mark. There's my check mark. All right, four hundreds is equal to 14 tens. If we have 14 tens and we add a zero, that would be 140. All right, four hundreds is equal to 400 tens. 400 tens? Oh my goodness, that would be 4,000. That one is not correct. Remember, we add our zero because each time we're counting by tens for each of these. All right, this one and this one is not correct. So four hundreds is equal to 40 tens. Which equation is correct? Two hundreds is equal to 200 tens? No, that would be 2,000. I know it would be correct if it said two hundreds is equal to 200 ones because we could count by ones 200 times to get to 200, but not count by 10 200 times. Let's check this one. Two hundreds is equal to 22 tens. Well, I know 20 tens is 200, so 22 tens is 220. That one's not correct. Here we have two hundreds is equal to 12 tens. 10 tens is 100. Two tens is 20, so it is 120. That one's not correct. Here we have two hundreds is equal to 20 tens. I know that 20 tens is 200. So 200 is equal to 200. Fantastic job.